Hey folks, this is Keith at Don Redwood Groves and today is uh, forest mulching day. Yay! Uh, what we got here is um, back 20 acres or so of our property is all woods and um, it's too hard to get into it. So I've hired a forest mulcher to create some paths so we can get our equipment in and around the forest open it up and make it more usable or desirable for us. So, come along and let's see what we got today. So, this woods, it's got a lot of underbrush and it's nasty down this area here. But we've got it, the goal is to open up and go two paths wide. And his um, forest mulcher is uh, seven feet wide. Seven feet wide. So, going through here and we're just kind of cutting through, opening it up, and uh, there he is, working along. This is gonna be the hardest part for the day, is getting this thing open. But we'll see what we can do. Alrighty, so this was uh, pretty much clear-cutted uh, seven years ago. We did leave some nice mature trees in this area, but uh, pretty much all this is just overgrown brush. There's some oaks in there. There's a bunch of sweet gum poplar, the typical southern trees. Uh, but what our goal is here is get this open so we can get around it, get it open. Um, we can clear through this as we get going, but I can't do this with my equipment. So we've gone through. This is uh, the upper half of my property, the back of the 20, if you will. Um, and we're just clear cutting through and we're starting to go back down. My property changes from the house down to the creek 100 feet and from the creek uh, up to the top of my property, which is up there, another 200 feet, 80 feet. So there's an 80 foot drop from the back to the creek and a 100 foot elevation from the creek to the house. Um, we can see right there, there was a tree that they had cut and uh, it was trying to grow again we went around that and we're trying to go down but this drops off pretty close to the creek so the wetland so they didn't clear it so we're just kind of going down and going around and trying to see how we can get to where we want to go and here we are we're working along Alrighty, so here's just a little shot of where we are. This is the path coming up south side of the creek of our property. Going over here, and um, I have a clearing over there. I'm just gonna have him clear that spot, just clear it up. And the goal is to put a man bridge. I'd like to do some type of suspended bridge, um, cable bridge, something like that here, just so that when we do go for a walk, we could walk through here and come on up but this is really nice. I'm pretty stoked about this. It's opened up really good. Um, <laughs> beavers, they love to kill trees. But anyhow, here's the path. He's opening it up. Um, we've actually pretty much got this all open already and uh, we've only been doing about two and a half hours. We got stuck and I say we because we found a sinkhole. He was digging, jumping in here, and all of a sudden, his unit just fell. I'll right, we'll try to put a picture maybe in the corner here. But we got stuck in there. Um, we actually had to go get my toy to help get him out. I will uh, talk to you about that more later in another video. So, we're in the south side of our property um i think we go we're probably where we are right now about 250 feet more that way so that's pretty much all mature trees i'd love to clean it out but i am not going to be able to use this guy for this um on this 20 acres uh we had three sections clear cutted for a project they wouldn't cut these trees here because of there's a seasonal 
ravine, if you will, going through here. Uh, I've never seen water go through it, but I'll just be honest, I haven't been back here through much. Um, but we're coming down through here. It's not very bad dip. Um, I was thinking of building a small bridge here just to make it a little smoother transition. Um, I don't think I want to put a culvert pipe in here and do any of that. That doesn't make sense to me. So, I don't know, it might be just a bridge or you got any ideas, let me know. But it's it's not bad. It's, it's really a uh, foot and a half drop and probably a little eight foot oak white oak bridge would be enough to just span this thing and keep her happy so um it's kind of my thought and right now we've got all most of the pass opened up i should say i'll cut some more pass i think and right now he's cleaning things up so if we come up and uh he's doing a great job he's doing a great job i'm i'm happy so and i guess i'm the customer so that makes it all right right so, yeah, he's opening it up. Again, uh, his mulcher's seven feet, so he's trying to do like two pass, maybe a little more. But so we're like 14 foot wide. I'll be able to take my rotary cutter and just keep the, the brush down on this and keep it going and it should be a nice trail. And then I can actually take the rotary cutter if I want and start protruding in here and opening up into the woods or small chainsaw and start keeping uh, the trees I want. What I'd like to do is throw um, seeds, if you will, in here. Some black walnuts, some more white oak, some more red oak. Um, maybe, I don't know what you can get for a cherry seed, but uh, maybe some uh, fruit trees in here too. I'd like this to become just more a, a natural production force for us. And uh, we'll see what we can do about it. But you know that's a that's a long-term plan, but you gotta start you gotta start someday. So this is the first step is to get this open so that we can get in here and see what the heck we got and what we can do and everything else. So pretty excited. All right, so we tied it into the old, um, my old path, and you can see how narrow that is compared to the new path. So now what we're doing is I got him opening up the old path to be more consistent and wider like uh, this. I had uh, my mother-in-law on the RTV and she got drove by and uh, one of those stinking uh, blackberry bushes came in. I caught her in the cheek, whipped in. So I want this wide enough that we don't get people hurt. So he's doing a great job. Keep moving. they're normally asked for they're usually asked to clear uh, you know an acre or two acres of back area there a lot to try to make it better more usable um, this is 20 acres it would take I don't know how long it would take to clear all this out but I'm trying to make it useful by trails so that we can get around this system and uh, these are all small small Grow three, so it's a little easier. But um, he's been along pretty good. And now he's uh, now we've kind of been working here long enough. He's got a feel for what I want. He's uh, opening up and, and finished cleaning it as he's going. Before we were just kind of a couple of the other spots we were just opening up, and, uh, uh, opening and finishing as he comes back up. Looking good. We're happy.